Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay St. Clair from the University of Bristol and I'm going to talk to you about my poster um, which represents work that was funded by the Alzheimer's Society and Alzheimer's Research UK. So I'm an old age psychiatrist and I regularly am asked to treat people who are living with dementia who become depressed. Unfortunately at the moment we don't have any effective treatments so I go and see these patients and they and their loved ones are very distressed by the situation and we really don't have very much to offer. Offer, which is, I'll be honest, not, not great either for us as clinicians who are desperate to help patients and their loved ones and also is terrible for the patients and their loved ones. So I wanted to do something about it and um, the thing that I wanted to do about it was to find new treatment targets so that we can identify targets for developing new treatments for depression in people living with dementia that might actually work. So to do that, I took um, a whole load of um, brain tissue, um, generously donated um, from the UK-based brain banks. So these are all people who um, signed up to the Brains for Dementia Research Study or to local brain banks, and then they generously donated their brains to science after they died. So I looked at two particular brain areas, the superior frontal gyrus, which is towards the front of the brain, and the anterior insula, which is towards the middle of your brain, on the inside and I chose those areas because we'd essentially done previous work suggesting that they might be involved. So um, to um, summarise a year of pain and um, hard labour, we um, liquidised the brain tissue, split it into different cell types and then measured something called gene expression. And gene expression is a bit like taking a cookbook and seeing how many different times a week you might cook spaghetti bolognese versus I know, pork chops and potatoes. So it was that kind of information that we were looking at. Um, so we looked at two different cell types and two different brain areas. We looked at microglia, which are the brain's main um, defence against nasty bugs and general horrible things in the brain. So that's involved in the immune system and neurons, aka um, um, brain cells. So um, we thought that we would find stuff in the neurons, but we didn't. Instead, we found differences in the microglia, these immune-related cells, and the pathways that popped up um, really surprised us. So now we need to do more work to try and work out what this means and to develop new treatments. Thank you for listening. Is that all right? Or do you want me to